I've started. I've started. Okay. Um, hello, guys. Welcome to my kid videos. Um, if you are new to this channel, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our updates. Today, I'm going to show you um, the XM18 incubator control. Um, control what? controller all right temperature controller all right the xm18 temperature controller and along alongside i'm going to talk about the heating coil all right this produces the heat and then this is a humidity pipe all right produces the humidity yeah so if you are into egg incubation you should know you need your temperature and your humidity right and if you want to make it automatic then you need to get a controller all right a controller to do the automatic uh, control for you so this video is going to be in uh, two or three parts this is part one all right so you you really need to subscribe so you don't miss part two and part three all right there's a lot to talk about this controller it's a very good controller i've used it for over three years now it's so good it's it's so wonderful all right and easy to use so I'm not going to be plugging it. I'll just talk about um, some of the things you connect to it. All right. So if you buy it, it comes with a temperature sensor and a humidity sensor. All right. So your your humidity sensor has three cables. <coughs> your humidity sensor has three cables. It's going to come here. One, two, three. All right. Then your temperature sensor has two cables. That's going to come here and here all right so your humidity sensor one two three okay then your temperature sensor four and five all right now your main power will come here your life will have to come to 13 and your neutral will come to 14 so in this case this is a 220 volt controller all right so you bring your life cable here and your neutral cable here all right this is the common the common terminal where you you can put all your neutrals over here yeah so um over here we have et yes for a good incubator you need an external fan a, a fan a fan that will control the overheating all right so if you have a small usually it's a small fan yeah so you connect the life of that fan here the work of that fan is to blow out excess heat out of the incubator right so if you are overheating if your incubator is overheating your your fan which you connect here the life of the fan will come here the neutral of the fan will come to common all right so that fan only comes in when the temperature is going too high okay then we have the motor the the motor that does your turning for you yeah that motor has three terminals if you watch my previous videos you see that kind of motor i'm talking about it has three terminals the middle terminal is neutral okay so the middle terminal is neutral so from the middle terminal of the motor you can bring it to neutral which is com or you can still bring it here all right but preferably bring it here all right preferably how is it my name preferably say yeah preferably <laughs> preferably say <laughs> okay guys yeah so that's some um, english sorry english lesson right there okay okay back to the motor the motor has um, two other terminals for your life okay so one comes to left and the other comes to right all right so yes yeah, so that's for your motor then we have wet over here all right so this is where you connect your humidifier whatever produces your humidity you connect it here so in this case for incubators you can use this humidity pipe it has two terminals so your wires will be connected here all right so you pick one wire from here okay from here and then connect to 19 which is wet okay 19 then the other 
terminal, the other terminal, I'm talking about the humidifier, the other terminal will go to neutral. So you can bring it to common. Okay. So real quick, again, I'm talking about the humidity pipe. Can I move up a bit? Uh -huh. The humidity pipes. So you have one wire from the pipe coming to wet, which is 19. And the other wire will go to common. All right. Yes. So when the humidity is too low, this will be started. And um, there's a quick one, a safety tip. If you leave this on and it's not immersed in water, the pipe will blow up. Okay. So anytime you want to test it, anytime this is on, it's supposed to be in water. It shouldn't run dry. All right. Don't forget. Okay. Then we have lastly the heaters okay we have the heaters we have heater one and then heater two so heater one is a main heater all right so the relay here can take 220 volts and then eight amps all right so uh, there's a main heater and then this is heater two heater two is supposed to be an auxiliary heater or a dehumidifier okay so if the humidity is too much this is supposed to come in and then dehumidify the system yes yeah, so in this case you can use this heater this heating coil is is 200 watts 200 watts it doesn't heat red hot it's a very good heater for incubators it heats gradually all right and then it comes with two terminals two terminals so what will happen is if this is your main heater can you move up a bit if this is your main heater you are going to pick one wire from here okay from one terminal to 23 okay from one terminal to 23 and then the other terminal to 24 okay so one terminal goes to 23 the other goes to 24 okay and then if you have an auxiliary heater you connect it the same way one terminal goes to the heater the other goes to the heater also yes so uh, thanks for watching if you need any of these you can get from my kit shop in ghana accra right or if you can leave a comment below and i'll direct you further where to get it from yeah so again don't forget to like and subscribe. It's my kid videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.